On Facebook, I think it's more of just I'm friends with everyone, people who I've never seen, um, or really ever, once or twice. It's a way to learn about someone on a really basic level. I check my Facebook, but I'm not on my Facebook. I, I, I look at it every day to see if I have notifications, but I'm not glued to it. I'm unfortunately glued to the other ones, like everyone, which is why we all like have neck problems. And <laughs> Instagram I view more as like a personal online visual journal. I don't have as many followers as I do on Facebook. It's a little more private for me because Facebook at first was private, but then it became this monster, this huge beast. Instagram now is a huge platform as well, but I'm a little more hesitant and careful of who I accept and who I follow. My Instagram is full of skyscrapers and tabletop pictures with hashtag foodie on it. I follow people on Twitter and I'll search things on Twitter if I want instant news. You know, if I heard, if somebody just told me something or I know something just happened, I'll type it into Twitter because that'll be the most current, you know, before it even happens, Twitter knows about it. I love Snapchat. Snapchat, I think, is my favorite social media, honestly, now. Snapchat, I use basically basically just like a quick little fun game. I like Snapchat just because I can quickly show people what I'm saying and then it's gone. So it does, it's not something I have to analyze for a while. I know if I post something on Facebook, a lot of people will see it and they have like opinions about what I'm saying. If I take a Snapchat of what I think something's just like stupid and I'm like, hey, look at this, it's gone. Snapchat to me is like a form of texting. It's um, a little bit more casual. I don't know why it is, but it is. So I like that too. So if like you're you've just met someone or a recent friend or whatever, it's a less like, I don't know why, it sounds odd saying it, but a serious way to talk to someone. In our travels over here to Las Vegas, we ran across some research and data backed by Pew that really opened up some more of our, this, this importance of this mobile and social yes. media. You know, in fact, one of the bullet points was that 43% of the world population has a smartphone now. Smartphone, yes. So do you think it's important to have a mobile initiative? Well, you know, it, Las Vegas, I mean, you can see device obsession here. Oh, because yeah. Most of the people here are experiencing Las Vegas through their smartphone. Yeah. Uh, so I can't believe the number of people we walk by. They're just walking down just the walking, sidewalk yeah. videoing. Yeah. And where is all that content going? Yeah. Social media. So there is also a study that indicates that uh, more than a billion people check into Facebook at least once a day. A billion, and that's a recent that's B. study. B. So for those of you who do not think that your Facebook's customers, going away. Yeah. Or that your customers or clients aren't there, hey, you could walk down the strip here and you see every age group on it. Yeah. Well and I think the key thing to think about the Facebook stat is do you think in a billion people you might have a few customers out there or someone yeah. that you could connect with? Now we got a you got to think about that. It's a billion in a month. It's not a billion over a period of time. Right. It's 30 days. Do you think in 30 days there's a billion people that might be interested in a product yeah. or a service or doing business with you yeah. or having some connection with your brand or your product? And think about yourself. You go to bed with a phone and you wake up with a phone. A lot of people wake up and what do they do? Check email, check social. And if you really want to see the frequency of that and what's coming, there's a small study of 18 to 33 year olds that found that they check on average really without even realizing it their phone 85 times a day and that can't be for email yeah i mean you think they're yeah. checking email they're yeah. on snapchat yeah. they're doing right. the instagram they're on yeah. you know in that older age group probably facebook i mean it is part of our life now it is yeah. our alarm clock it's our communication tool yeah. it's our phone it's our video chat it's our social media piece everything it's our video camera yeah. <laughs> we, you know? yeah, we're shooting this so up. if you don't have that strategy yeah. or initiative thinking about social mobile really right. is what it right. is now it's social mobile then you're falling way behind way behind in all levels of yeah. business it's not just for the big boys it's for all levels of business and your customers are on mobile on in social and it's very hard anymore to get them to your website. So what yeah. is your social media strategy? Yeah. What are they doing? How are you going to connect yeah. with them socially and social media? Quit trying to do it on a website because yeah. it's not happening. And the big takeaway from Vegas is? Always come out to Vegas and have a good time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, be sure you check your phone.